The first game sees us welcome Swindon Town to York, although in this one it felt more like Swindon Supermarine, as a 12 minute terrific strike from Zimba took us into the half with a comfortable 1-0 lead, before Lubala and Pedder then sealed the win in the second half to make it 3-0. Next up, we then headed away to 15th place Exeter, and although we performed well, a lack of finishing prowess left us with a 0-0 draw. With a headed opener only 16 minutes in, this game looked to be going well against mid-table Fleetwood. However, in the end we fell to a 69th minute equaliser and was unable to respond. All before then, picking up a 1-0 win, thanks to a 26th minute Williams goal. Which, ladies and gents, brings us today to the culturally diverse city of Bradford. And the stadium, it's actually down this road behind me. If you head straight down there, you'll end up at Bradford City's ground. But before we do that, we do, of course, have some injuries to catch up on. So without further ado, let's head on over to the medical centre. And so we've made our way to the medical centre and we're going to be here for a little brief moment because there isn't that many to go over. First of all, Lewis Shipley picked up a tight hamstring for a couple of days back on the 15th, so five days after that Hartlepool game. I can't remember if it was after another game. I believe Hartlepool, there was a bit of a gap between that and Swindon, I want to say, was that first game. So I believe Shipley was okay for all of the matches. But Mark Wilson on the second of this month sprained his knee ligament and well that's going to keep him out for four to seven weeks in total currently it says he's out for two to six weeks but without further ado let's head on over to that dressing room Okay, so before jumping straight into the dressing room, I thought we'd have a little look at the fixture list, considering we are near the back end of the season, and in fact, we are guaranteed to be in the top 20, yes, and possibly even pushing for those playoff spots. Now, I think that is a little bit too far for us to push for those playoff spots, but you know what? A top half finish wouldn't be too bad, and right now, we are only out of those top 12 spots on goal difference, but... We are, of course, facing Bradford here today, and Bradford are going to be fighting tooth and nail in this one. They are at home, and they are just hovering above that relegation zone. If we beat them here today, Grimsby could possibly pick up a win against Exeter in 15th. Exeter is a solid side, but that's not unsurmountable for them, so they could turn that around. Admittedly, they do need a few goals to catch up to Bradford, but... Between the two games, we could make up that three goal difference and Bradford could find themselves in the relegation zone. So they are definitely going to be fighting in this one. Barrow, though, probably resigned to defeat against Walsall at home. They look like they're pretty much guaranteed to be going down at this point with a 10 point gap on Bradford. We have Accrington Stanley, whoever they are, against Lincoln. Lincoln, of course, top of the league. And we have Oldham against second place Salford. Now, we've managed to trip Salford up a couple of times. Can Oldham do it? Who knows? Sutton is at home against Mansfield, so that's a 10 versus 9. So there's a few good fixtures here today. As you can see, nine games remaining. We, if Stockport trip up a couple of times, we pick up a couple or guarantee getting into that 19th. I think with what we've got right now, we're probably 16th, 17th. And then if we can get a few more points, we're guaranteeing ourselves a slightly higher spot from there. But enough rambling for me. Let's crack on with this one. Let's go through to the tactical meeting where, of course, we are going to tell the lads Opposition instructions, there's only one of them, stay on feet, don't need to do any of this malarkey. As you can see, it's a perfect pitch condition here today, but a rather poor attendance, 10,742 tickets sold out of a 25,136 capacity. Now it's a gusty gusty, wet 8 degrees, it looks like they're going for a 4-1-2-2-1, or as I like to call it, the flying V formation. In terms of us though, we are not going cautious, that is from the last game, so we're going to 
change that up, go a bit positive in this one because we are versing 22nd and we are a pretty damn good side. So we are of course going for our 4-2-3-1, Oluwai Emi Ngola, back line of Osu, Shipley, Adiapan and Brock Bank. Our wingers are Luvala and Williams with Pedder in between, Morgan and Allen behind him and Zimba Zimbaye up front. Our bench consists of Ben Olwick, Jenkinson, Connolly, McLaughlin, Dyson, Norwood and Campbell. As you can see, Wilson is our only injured party at the moment but without further ado let's submit this squad as you can see tactically it has gone down rather nicely and this has gone quite quickly so no need to skip through it we can just crack on with things and the team sheet is out ladies and gents they are going for five changes in this one as per usual, not going to read through it. We're just going to crack on with things. So, we've been on a good run of form lately. Go out there and impress me. Exactly. Did I leave? No, we're all good. Um, We've been on a good run of form. Uh, yeah, good run of form. Come on, let's do this. I wanted to make sure I didn't leave any music out running in the background. That would have been rather awkward. Thankfully, I can see there is no sound coming through the PC, even if I left that setting on. So, we're all good. All ready to go in this one. We don't have a shower head hanging over the camera this time because there's no rain, of course. And well, they are trying to build from the back. It's, of course, a kickoff highlight, so probably not going to amount to much. But there is that, like, half a percent chance that something will actually happen in it. So we've got to see it. And well, Bradford, with a draw thus far, is moving themselves up the league table. They'll be happy with that but right now they've intercepted it and they'll be even happier if they can get a goal and get the lead so it's a ball up to Gillingham it's back to Duncan Duncan over to what what where's he gonna go with this he finds Sims Sims over to what plenty of easy players to pronounce in this team Gilead is one of the harder ones to say though I will say that thankfully his effort wasn't as hard it went flying into the back of the stand and we escape as we've got two thirds of the possession at the moment, admittedly it's 12 minutes in, and they do have a corner. So, whipped in, back post, nodded. I thought it was going to be nodded away. In fact, it was kept in by DeBeo, and he gets it back to Sims. Sims is just going to blast it out, though. All good. All good. A little bit dangerous when they kept possession in our box. Also, Lincoln, by the way, 1 0 up against Akron from Stanley. And there was another goal in one of the other games as well. Can't remember quite who it was. I just saw 1-0 to one of the home sides. I want to say it might have been Oldham against uh, Walsall. Which, that's a big goal if it is. It's definitely a big goal if it is. It is Oldham. Oldham, sorry. Did I say Walsall? I believe that was Salford. Hmm. Anyway. Alan, back to Adiapan. Ball over to Brockbank. Brockbank, where's he going to go with this one? He's got support inside. Instead, he's going to whip it in. Zimba! And it's straight at Hornby. Hornby just flexed it in the air. It is, in fact, Salford. Exeter, by the way. 1 0 up against Grimsby. That's good news. Oh, not so good news for Bradford now as Grimsby pull level 1 1 in that one. Duncan, though. Ball through to Sims. Sims has broke through. Can he get a shot off? He does. But it's straight out all the way. I mean, as the angle is closed down. And now Bradford to take the corner. Where will they go with this one? We are getting reminded of the Grimsby equaliser in the bottom left hand corner. I am, of course, in the way of that one for you fine ladies and gents. But it's with Sims right now. Plays it in to Duncan. Duncan goes back post. Tries to find what? Adipan will nod it up to Williams instead, though. Come on, let's get a count. Or not. Or not. Exeter, by the way. 2-1 up. Congratulations, Bradford. They've gone to one up. And Walsall is now 1-0 up against Barrow. Brockbank, though, to throw it in for us. Finds Pedder, finds Allen. Now up to Brockbank. Whipped in. Oh, Lubala, come on. 13th goal of the season for Beverly Lubala. Didn't realise he had Lee at the end of his first name, by the way. I don't know why it's taken me till now. I just thought it was like Beryl Lubala. But Beverly Lubala. Is the goal scorer here today here on the 35th minute beautiful header into that top corner lovely cross into him ladies and gents we're up to 12th up to 12th in the league one point behind the playoff spots admittedly most of the playoff teams do have a game in hand over us so we're probably going to be four points behind by the time they've played that extra game but right now we don't care 
We've had five on target out of our seven. We are getting on well in this one. 91% passing and 66% possession. We are doing pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Now, things are going well, but I know you're capable of better. How is the team doing? You know what? Generally, the team is doing pretty darn good. That, that seems a little bit on the harsh side. But you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. You're capable of even better. I want to see eight ratings, nine ratings, not just six, sevens and above. Although that is my minimum. They are actually reaching. Apparently the assistant wants more. Usually the assistant is actually quite soft with them. Expects me to put an arm around them when we draw a 1-1 one, one game and we should really be winning it 2-1 or 3-1. Yeah, usually he's the nice guy. Not here today though. Labala whips one. Oh, no he doesn't. He goes for goal. Yes, he's feeling confident after that first half goal. Speaking of confident, Lincoln is 2-0 up against Accrington Stanley and Walsall is 2-0 up against Barrow. But it's ball over to Sims in this one. Inside to Duncan. Allen tries to tackle him instead. It goes through to Cook though. Cook wins going to go with this one. He's gone wide. He pulls it back. Lovely block. Pedder nods it away. And it's Zimba Zimba A on the counter attack now. Can he get a pass over to his left hand side? He tries it. It was poor. Straight at the defender and intercepted as a result. Mansfield, by the way, 1-0 up against Sutton as well in that game. But Ride Holler. Oh, two cook whipped in Sim. And he misses yet again. I think I'm starting to see Bradford's problem, you know. They've got a lot of players who get good opportunities and waste them. They're really wasteful. Hmm. Gilead, do we mark Gilead? I think we're okay. I think we're okay for now. Watch this coming by us in the backside now. I've said that. So, Pedder is currently on a 6-6. Six, six. He's not doing too great. We've got a yellow card to Zimba, yellow card to Morgan, but Lubala and Shipley are tired. So we'll go for the guys who are a little more tired. Lubala, you can have a bit of a rest. Norwood on for Pedder. These are actually usually the players who do get tired in these games, to be fair. Conley on for Shipley. And now I've got to pray that Morgan and Zimba just behave themselves. Don't get themselves sent off. Just stick on your yellow cards. Be nice. Play nicely. Play nicely with the other children, you two. Now, Norwood, back to Morgan. Where's he going to go with this one? Inside to Allen. He finds Morgan once more, though. Nice one-two between those two yet again. It's back to Morgan. Up to follow Osu. Now to Norwood. One-two with him. It's now with Osu on this left-hand side, making the run. He can pull it back if he wishes. Instead, he's going to whip it in, though. Williams back post. It floats past him. He's going to collect possession. Whips it in himself. Norwood can't get onto it as it's nodded away. And Cook on the counter-attack. It's up to Effia. Effia coming down this left-hand side. Now to Sims. Sims finds Williams. Williams inside to Duncan. He's going to go over to Watt. But what is Watt going to do here? He's going backwards, in fact. It's all over the top to Epia. Epia's going to run onto it. But does he have anyone in the middle to cross it to? It looks like Bradford's eventually going to get some players in there. As Williams whips it in. Duncan. And the header. It's soft. Straight at all the And we can breathe a sigh of relief as Lincoln, by the way, 3 0 up against Darkington Stanley. Barrow has pulled one back against Walsall to make it 2 1 in that one. And Addy Pan is going to try and build from the back for us here. So Connolly, route one down this left hand flank, finds Campbell. Campbell, of course, usually a striker, but now a backup on one of our wings. Not quite sure what our plan is with him going forward. We're definitely going to keep him, of course, but is he going to be a backup striker, backup winger, or are we going to keep him as a backup for all three? Just a versatile player we bring on in any of those? Who knows? I'll figure it out as we go forward, but right now, it's this game. This singular game that matters in this one. Oluwayemi, short to Adiapan. Where's he going to go with this one? Tries to hoof it up. Norwood gets a poor contact as Debeu. Gets it now. Cook back to Debeu. Debeu hoofs it up. Conley will intercept it though. Nods it down for Campbell. Campbell's got an overlap in Osu. Someone needs to find Osu on this left hand side. He has made quite the run over here. It's with Morgan. Now finds Campbell. Osu, keep your, keep your run. Keep your run. Come on. Yes, come on, Osu. Gets down that left hand side. Now, can he get a good cross in? That's the question. Whips it in. Williams back post. But Williams beats Williams to the header as it's out to Sims. Now, Sims tries to route one it to Epia. Thankfully, Andy Pan gets back, nods it down for Brooke. 
and it's with Williams once more. He tries to cross field, it's Campbell, this time intercepted by Bradford. And Epier is going to go on the counter attack now. Can he get past his man? I believe that was Connolly with a missed challenge. Mm. Thankfully, doesn't bite us in the backside. As the final effort was absolutely terrible. Now, have any of the other scores changed? No, Exeter's still 2-1. Oldham is now 1-1 against Salford, though. Mansfield still 1-0 up in their game. Didn't catch the top two if they had changed, but Campbell inside to Norwood. Now, ball up to Zimba. Zimba's in by A, gets one through to Campbell. Campbell tries to whip in across. It's shot. Oh, Zimba forces a nice save out to Hornby there. And eight minutes from the end of time. Can we seal this victory? One more goal should be able to do it as Joe Allen whips in the corner. Williams will nod it away with Adi. A will collect it here on the edge of the box. Back out to Allen. Is he onside? It looks like he is. But it doesn't get to anyone as it's nodded away once more. Only though, collects it. That's the highlight. And we go into a brand new one here. That's ah, Bradford come down the right hand side. So Gilead, what's he gonna do with this one? It's blocked. Thankfully. And we shall have a sip of our drink. Golf dropped down to eleventh place. I believe that's higher than we started. Could be wrong. I'm pretty sure we started in like twelfth. Oldham, by the way, three one up against Salford. Okay, that was a quick couple of goals. So, Duncan doesn't beat Allen in the air. He gets it up to Williams. It's now back to Allen. Finds Williams once more, but he is being double marked on that right-hand side. Now, Allen over to Morgan. Morgan, where's he going to go with this? Back to Adiapan. Up to Allen. Allen now inside to Zimba. Lovely ball through to Norwood. Norwood, can he make use of this, though? He is a little bit on the slow side. He's getting on in age, of course. Now playing as a cam more than a striker for us. It's back to Brockbank, though. Up to Norwood. Norwood whips one in. Campbell. Oh, come on, Campbell. Tavon Campbell. Eighth goal of the season. That is not a lot of goals for Tavon Campbell. But you know what? They are. Big goal, especially this one. He has pretty much sealed the deal on this result. And thank you, Tavon. What a beautiful header. Back-to-back -back headers in this one. They've got us a 2-0 lead. Opposite corners as well. Top left, top right. And Williams is now going to try and build from the back for Bradford as we have three additional minutes in this one. But can Bradford utilise them? It's a ball up to Duncan. Oluwayemi beaten on the chase. So, where is Oluwayemi going to go with this one? He's going to roll it, I'm assuming. He doesn't quite know who he's going to roll it to yet. He chooses Adiapan. So, Adiapan. Hoops it up. Zimba's in by A. Wins the header. Gets it to Williams. Unfortunately, though, Williams tries to get it straight back to him. And it's intercepted. So what? Oh, lovely interception by Osu. Gets it up to Campbell. Crossfield ball to Williams. Unfortunately, Williams beats Williams on that wing. It's a ball now up to Epia. Epia is going to beat our defence to it. Thankfully, his shooting is terrible. And we have averted danger. So, Osu. Throws it into Norwood. Back to Osu once more. He finds Morgan. Osu on this left-hand side. We just need to hold possession. There's a minute remaining. They need two. Osu tries to get down the wing. What does dispossess him? But Campbell gets it back. Now Norwood into Allen. Ball up to Campbell. Campbell cuts inside. Not quite sure what that pass was. But you know what? Staunton will collect it. It wastes a bit of time. And it's a 1-2 between him and Duncan. So Staunton tries the ball over the top. Tries to find Sims. It's going to be beaten to by Brockbank, though. He plays back to Oluwayemi. Hoops it up to Campbell. He tries to nod it on. But again, it's on to no one. Thankfully, Bradford gives the ball back as Osu collects. Morgan inside to Allen. Now he tries the ball over the top. Can Campbell win this race? Probably not. As Ride Hall gets it back to Hornby. Now Hornby, the train, nods it. Nods it. Hoops it up to Allen. It's now with Duncan. Epia. Epia comes over. Tries to penetrate our defence. But it's too late. As we have picked up the victory here, here, ladies and gents. Harry Brockbank, by the way, was our best performer, getting an 8 rating in this one. Campbell 
had a solid game with his 7.6. In fact, did anyone have a bad game in this one? There's a lot of green across the board. The ones who aren't green, a Pedro on a 6.6. I wouldn't say that was too bad. Williams on a 6.8 and a 6.9 for Zim, but they were our worst performers. So a fantastic result in this one. A fantastic bout of football from pretty much everyone on our side. As you can see, they did try and give us quite a game. 12 shots to 16, but their shooting was awful. Four on target to our eight. We had more XG, we had more corners, admittedly we were tied on fouls, tied on yellow cards. We had better passing though, we had two thirds of the possession. But I thank you all for joining us, I hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye.